Hello everyone, my name is Asisi Pombingilele and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to be going through a few dye hybrid questions, basically looking at the dye hybrid crosses and answering a few questions. Remember when we talk about dye hybrid crosses, guys, we are looking at two characteristics or two traits at the same time. Now, what we're having here is um a seed shape gene or trait um and also a seed color so those are the two um traits that we're looking at so i'm going to write here i hope i'll have space so the first trait is seed shape and i'm writing like this guys because uh i don't have space so they're saying round seed shape is dominant over wrinkled seed shape so that is our first trait so the seeds can either be round or wrinkled now they've given us the the letter r and the round seed received a capital letter r and the wrinkled seed received a small letter r that is telling us something guys that the round seed shape is dominant over the wrinkled seed shape round seed shape i'm going to change the color this one is dominant this gene is dominant and the wrinkled gene is recessive okay that is the first trait now the second trait that we have here is the seed color the color of the seed now the alleles given here is uh, let's see yellow and green green that's an n in terms of uh which one is dominant which one is recessive the yellow seed color they've given the letter w capital letter w and the green color is received small letter w that means it's recessive so again i'm going to use orange and indicate that the yellow is dominant is the dominant gene and green is the recessive gene okay now they are saying here a pea plant which is homozygous round seed and has green seed color is crossed with a pea plant that is heterozygous round seed shape and heterozygous yellow seed color. The cross is represented by a punnet square below. Now they've done the cross for you. These are the gametes for uh, the first pea plant and these are the gametes for the second pea plant gametes and not genotypes but let's look at genotypes they have not asked us the genotype but this is mainly for understanding a dye hybrid question so parent one let's look at the first parent um they've said a pea plant which is homozygous round seed they are round seed homozygous that means it will be capital letter r capital letter R, homozygous, since the round uh, seed shape is obviously dominant over the recessive one. Homozygous, round shape of the seed, and it has green seed color. Let's go to the seed color, green, so that is small letter Y, small letter Y. That's the genotype for the first parent. Then the genotype for the second parent, um, let's see is crossed with a pea plant that is heterozygous round seed. So seed shape, heterozygous round seed, that would be a capital letter R, small letter R. So they are still round, but they are heterozygous, meaning they are made out of two genes. Um, they are made out of the round seed shape gene and the wrinkled ones, but they'll still be round because round is dominant over wrinkled. And the, sh the color of the seed, it is a heterozygous yellow seed. So yellow heterozygous, meaning it will be a capital letter Y, small letter Y. So this, um, or rather, this is the genotype for both parents. They did not ask us this, but I'm just breaking down the question for you to simplify it. Okay, so you'd obviously cross out 
um, the genes in order for you to get the gametes. Okay, so they've done that for you. Okay, and they've also um, given you the offsprings, the seed shape and the seed color of the offsprings, the 16 offsprings. Okay, now the first question is asking us about a percentage. What is the percentage chance, or what is the percentage chance, rather, of the offspring being homozygous for round seed? Now, if they had not done the cross for you, you would need to do the cross from the phenotype, genotype, meiosis, fertilization, everything for, for the dye hybrid cross. But they've done it for you. So you just need to find this information from the table that you are given. Of the offspring that's why you are only having one mark now they are asking us about the percentage chance of offsprings being homozygous for round seed let's go back to our seed shape and our seed shape that is dominant is round uh, and recessive one is wrinkled homozygous for round seed they are asking us how many of these plants are actually having two capital letter R's. That's what they're asking because homozygous for round seed, round seed is dominant. Homozygous means they have the same gene and the gene that is dominant is round. So that is homozygous for round seed. So you're going to then go to your table and count the number of offsprings that have two capital letter R's. Let's do it together. Simple stuff, guys. So that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We cannot take these ones. We cannot take these ones because this is not homozygous. This is heterozygous. We're having two different letters. Sorry, two different letter sizes. Sorry. So this is heterozygous. So it's still round, but it's the heterozygous one. So what we are having is eight of them. Out of how many offsprings? We're trying to get a percentage, right? Because they didn't ask how many. They're asking us the percentage. So there's eight of them that are homozygous for round seed out of 16. Then you multiply by 100. Aye, this one is easy, 50%. Now, for one mark, you don't need to show your calculation or your working out. But I'm obviously recording this video and explaining everything because I want everyone to understand. I hope that makes sense. They could have been specific in this question and say homozygous for round seed or even include both traits. Say homozygous for round seed and um, having green seeds in terms of the color. So they've just asked about the shape of the seed only. So they can ask about literally any of the traits, even combine both traits. Now, 1.5.1b is asking us to give the percentage chance of the offspring being heterozygous for both seed shape and color. Okay, for both seed shape and color. Heterozygous, hetero means different. So we are going to look at the trait or the alleles that have the same letter but different sizes. Okay? For that means heterozygous for both seed shape and I'm just simplifying it. Heterozygous means having two um, genes in that heterozygous condition and one is dominant over the other. So you focus on the dominant ones. Okay? Um, so if we look at the seed shape, round is dominant over wrinkled. So heterozygous um for seed shape would still mean the shape is round, but you will have a big R and a small R. Then for the color, you are looking at yellow and green. Yellow is dominant. So the plant can have yellow seeds in a homozygous dominant condition that is capital letter Y, capital letter Y, or in a heterozygous condition that is capital letter Y, small letter Y. We cannot talk about a capital letter here. Capital letter, no. So that means the genotype would be R, big R, small R, big Y, small Y. That is not our answer. I was explaining the concept behind. Now you need a percentage of 
offsprings that basically have this genotype. Let's go back to our table. Let's see how many that have a big R, small R, that's the first one, and a big Y, small Y. Then let's look for the second one. This is the second one. This is the third one. And this is the fourth one. It's not that easy sometimes, guys. You may find these um, genotypes all over the place. We cannot choose these ones because they have two capital letter R's. Remember, we're looking for one with the capital letter R and one with the small letter R. We cannot choose these ones also because they are having two small Y's. We want one big Y and one small Y. So out of the 16, how many offsprings have a heterozygous condition for both? It's only four out of the 16 multiplied by 100. That is 25%. The answer is 25%. Give the gametes that resulted in the following offspring. So give the gametes. Remember the gametes are here on the sides. These are the gametes for parent 2. And these are the gametes for parent 1. Okay. Now give the gametes that resulted in the following offsprings. Which one resulted in... Big R, big R, small Y, small Y. Let's look. I'm going to use a different color. Okay, so two big R's and two small Y's. They, they are the offsprings. Okay, it's these four. But they are not asking us to, 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 to basically give the number of the offspring. They are asking us for the genotype. So what is the genotype? It's this one. And... Um, this one. Okay, so the answer is the answer is capital letter R and small letter R. Sorry, small letter Y. Capital letter R, sorry guys, and small letter Y. You just need to write only one because it's the same commit. So this is capital letter R, small letter Y, capital letter R, small letter Y. Okay. Um, give the phenotype for offspring Capital letter R, small letter R, Y, Y, small letter Y, Y. Why do they phenotype? Let's come back here. So capital letter R, small letter R, that's the shape. That's for round. So this would be a heterozygous round seed shape. So round seed and the color. Small letter Y, uh, small letter Y, and green color. So you can even say, since we're talking about um, the seeds, we can say round and green seeds. So they are round in shape and they are green in color. Okay. Um, give the phenotype ratio of offspring from the cross. Phenotype ratio so this is easy guys um phenotype ratio let's break it down since all of the offsprings that we are finding in this row they have the same genotype so they're obviously going to have the same phenotype same with these ones same with these ones same with these ones i'm sure you can see that so um here we are getting a round shape and the seeds are yellow. So round and yellow seeds here. Then in this row, what are we getting? We are still getting round shape of the seeds, but they are green. Am I right? Yeah, they are green. Then in this row, we are getting round seeds and they are yellow. On this row, we are getting round seeds, but they are green. Now, we have not answered the question yet. The question says we must give the phenotype ratio. Remember when you look at the phenotype, phenotype that is the same, you group together. So let's look what we have here. We've got round and yellow, round and green, round and yellow, round and green. So let's combine the round and yellows together and let's combine the round and green together. We've got four of round and yellow and another four of round and yellow. We combine these two. 
So that will be eight of round and yellow. Then we have round and green. There is round and green. Round and green, four of them. And round and green, four of them, that's eight. You then simplify this ratio. Eight is to eight is obviously equals to one is to one. Guys, that's dihybrid crosses. You need to know how to answer these questions. Please do not leave empty spaces in your exam or test. Please, please, please watch my videos before you write a test and before um, you write an exam. 